What up guys, Supermetal983 here, here to bring us another digital review. Now it's been a fair while since I've done one of these, and as I keep on saying in these videos, that I like to savour these ones, especially for the ones that obviously get pressed on the likes of vinyl and cassettes, stuff that I'm not really massively into collecting, and have been released also on Bandcamps, iTunes, Amazons, whatever, Spotify, whatever you want to call it, um, and put my thoughts out there and share with you some new music that I'm checking out so hopefully you just like this one and I might as well give this a little spoiler this is a killer release um, but yeah this one is of the new Arch Gord EP which is called Eternal Damnation of Christ this is released under Debbie Moore Morty Productions I think that's how it's pronounced I could be wrong but I'm not good at pronunciation but anyway um, this is a band's new EP and it's kind of like a as the label states a four taste of what you can expect on the new Arch Gold album, which is going to be released next year, I believe. So I'm really looking forward to that. As a follow-up to their previous album called The Apocalyptic Triumphanter. Now, those who know me will know that I am obsessed with that album. And think I think it's an absolutely amazing album. One of the finest black and death metal albums that I've heard. Period. It's absolutely fantastic. It, it would have made me top albums of that year, but... Unfortunately, it kind of slipped away from us and I never really sort of went back to it, if you know what I mean, which is unfortunate and I feel a bit bad for saying that, but unfortunately, that's how things turned out. But after that, and when I went back to it and thought, oh, let's listen to it again, I fell in love with it once again. Uh, I picked up the shirt from Hell's Headbangers. Uh, I've got the CD on my shelf that hasn't been showcasing up to updates and purchases, but... Yeah, that's what I'm in. I've checked out a couple of older releases recently, and then when this new EP dropped, I was like, yeah, I need to jump behind my camera and put my thoughts out on there. Now, excuse me, <clears throat> this EP has been released for about, oh, about a month or so now, and I've had this on repeat, I'm not going to lie. This is absolutely fantastic, and it really puts, puts me in great high spirit listening to this release, because... Like the apocalyptic trend of uh, um, people on YouTube and me brothers have all said uh, that the apocalyptic trend is an absolute masterpiece of black and death metal perfection. But also it's a very enjoyable and fun release to listen to and you can't really fathom yourself to, to actually express that an art gold album is fun. I mean, what's going on with the world, you know what I mean? But... It's no joke, it's a fun record to listen to, it's enjoyable, it's catchy, but it's still got that dark, dismal, just gritty, heavy, bombastic, just mighty sound to it that you just can't shake off, and the, not to mention the gut-wrenching vocals, which I myself just fell in love with instantly, and that was one of the first things that, that made us click with Arch Gold, was the fact that the vocals were just so disturbing sound and just low and gut-wrenching out. Absolutely love it. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, um, but it obviously, as most albums, it leads you to wonder what is fucking next. Because like, that album was so good, what is going to be next for Arch Gold? And with them going, um, or I believe, just finished the tour with um, Bolzer and a couple of other black and death metal, black metal bands. Um, they said before the tour start, this is a new... EP ready for um, the tour that will be releasing on vinyl on the tour and here it is on Bandcamp and I instantly jumped on it and the eternal damnation of Christ just is setting up for what is going to be an absolute masterpiece of an album I can I can see it I can actually see it not too far away just being like painstakingly good I think I don't know I can't and I can't Put into words how excited I am to hear this new album, especially after hearing this, because these two new tracks just offer so much dismalness, so much blackness, and just sheer gut-wrenching heaviness. It's just absolutely fantastic to hear. I think the new EP, in my opinion, is a great setup and something that can get you really excited for the new album coming in the upcoming future. It's only two tracks, it only runs a couple of minutes, like, I think it's like nearly eight, ten minutes, something like that, and by the time it's over, you'll want to stick it on again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and it never gets fucking old, it's still wretched, it's still 
destructive in its presence, just listening to it through a good set of earphones, good set of headphones, good set of speakers, whatever means you're playing it through. Even if you're playing through your little tiny little speaker on your phone, it's going to create some real earthquakes in the world. And in my opinion, it's it's executing it so perfectly that it's, it's doing what it's meant to do as a little teaser for what you can expect next year from their new album. And I have to say, if it's going to follow up to the apocalyptic triumph, uh, it's got to be something fucking amazing. And if it's going to be something like this EP is sounding so far with these two tracks, the apocalyptic triumph uh, is going to look... It's going it's obviously going to um, withstand its... It's, it's, you know, plinth that it's on. It's, it's going to be, it's not, uh, the only way I can describe it is you're, you're holding it such a high stake that that is a big stake to beat. But I think it's going to be up there with it. And I, I don't know, I can't decide if it's going to be better or not as catchy as the Apocalyptic Triumph Triumphator. But, in my opinion, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. It's f filled with dismalness. It's got so much darkness going for it. Exactly like the Apocalyptic Triumph did it. It's filled with that despair that you want to hear from an Archgoat release. And, in my opinion, Archgoat are the kings of Black and Death Metal. In that sort of, like, wretched style of Black and Death Metal. Obviously, you can't compare this to the likes of Behemoth, for example. That's just another style of Black and Death Metal. Yes, there is another style, believe it or not. If you've not really explored the realms of Black and Death Metal, there's the wretched style, and this is definitely my favorite. They are definitely my favorite band in that genre, um, specifically. So, yeah. What more could I say? You need to hear this. The Eternal Damnation of Christ. I can't pick a song which one I think has a bit more to it, because the first one I think has a bit more dreariness and a bit more death to it but the second track just fills it with so much more l like catchiness like um the apocalyptic triumph today i can't choose between the two i physically can't both of them are just as good as each other split 50 50 right in the middle i can't choose but if you want to hear what the next article album is going to be like you need to hear this it's absolutely fantastic dismal and incredible and i tell you something I can promise you in the upcoming future, next year, when this album drops, if it maybe I hope it doesn't get delayed to 2020 or 2019 or whatever, but I hope when this album drops next year, it's going to be destructive. And I tell you something, I will be reviewing this album when it comes out because I think it's going to be an absolute painstakingly good album. And if you're a fan of Archgoat, you'll agree with us. Let us know in the comments down below. Do you think this EP, or if you, even if you haven't heard this EP, because I haven't heard many people talking about it, but if you haven't heard this, make sure you check it out down below in the description. All the links you need to Facebooks and band camps and all that, sh all that shit, sorry. But yeah, make sure you check it out. Links down below. And I'll see you until the next video. And remember, stay metal, and I'll see you later.